Yes, so we are expecting our personal income and spending numbers. This, of course, is going to be for August. And as we do that, uh, the 10-year notes kind of come right up to that one and a half level, 1.50%. And here we go up two tens on headline personal income, exactly as expected. On the consumption, the spending side, up eight tenths. That's a tenth better uh, than we expected. And indeed, if you look at that number, the, the best way to approach this is up eight tenths now follows a revised down one tenth, so a nice bounce. Now, if you look at real personal spending and account for the rise in inflation, it's up four tenths. So, of course, we knock it down a bit. Now, let's get to the money ball numbers on inflation, right? Personal consumption expenditure month over month deflator, uh, that is up four tenths, one tenth hotter than expected, exactly as in the rearview mirror of last month. If you go year over year, it is up 4.3 percent. 4.3 percent. That is indeed a, a, a high number going back to 1990. So we're looking at 31 years on that number. And if we look at the deflator uh, year over year, or excuse me, month over month, that's up three tenths. If you look at the core deflator, that's up 3.6. That is another one that is at a 30 plus year high. You're going back to the early 90s on both the deflator uh, core and the deflator headline year over year. And that's what many are going to look at. So we want to watch and see how 10-year note yields react. However, after having such a wild ride since last Wednesday's Fed meeting, which didn't seem to move much, then the Bank of England changed all that, and all sovereign debt really has had a big rise in the last week and a half, it is not out of the ordinary to maybe take a little bit of a breather in front of a weekend. So we want to watch which side of one and a half percent, nice psychological round number we close at, although the most technically significant areas are really above and below the market, around 1.66 percent above the market on a kind of medium view, and the breakout view below the market around 139. Those are the wide levels you want to continue to monitor. And, of course, maybe the easing back of interest rates in a new quarter. We bury the last quarter and the month of September, not kind to the sovereign debt market. So we're looking at some fresh investing potential. Becky, back to you.